So I've been working on creating visualizations with AI, in this case, Claude. What I'm doing is I'm feeding it a bank statement or a credit card statement, and I want to get charts. I want to understand spending. I want to quickly see if more is coming in than going out. If not, could I maybe back off on spending and certain types of spending? Anyway, I'm going to show you how I've done this. I'm going to use a fake bank statement. It's got some personal information that we wouldn't want in there necessarily. Again, it just shows transactions throughout the month of June. Anyway, we're going into Claude. We're going to use projects. I've set up a project specifically for this. It's monthly spend analysis. So what I've done is I've uploaded a version of the report that I like so it can reference it and it can generate a report that I prefer, but it isn't perfect at that. So what I had to do was I had to add some rules and we'll review real quick. So I tell it here to use that file that I sent it. This is how I like my data visualizations for this project. If I forget to remove personal details, I asked it to omit personal details. It normally automatically did that, but one time John Doe showed up in this, so I added that. So include entire transaction history. Sometimes it will show you half the month for whatever reason. It decides that it doesn't need the whole thing. So it doesn't factor in total income expenses. A starting balance shouldn't be factored into the total income for the month. It did that once and it made John look like he was making more money than he actually was, right? The card view that we're going to see, this one was a bit of a struggle. Uh, basically, there's five cards that go across the top, and the struggle was that it wouldn't always show it horizontally. And so I think that the landscape orientation only comment here actually uh, is pretty good at forcing that orientation that I like. Color coding strategy, we're going to color code values only. Basically, there's starting balance that has a certain color, and there's other uh, cards that I specify what the color should be. Then there's two charts and a table. The first chart is going to be daily expense, so it's going to show spending. Second chart's categorized spending. And then the table of all the transactions, and I asked it to include the balance column. So each transaction, what is the balance after that transaction was made? Anyway, so the only thing I need to do, I don't even have to ask anything. I just send the file. So in this case, I'm going to grab the bank statement file, PDF. I'm going to hit send. And if all goes well, you'll see the report that I'm, I'm kind of nerding out over because it's, it's quite nice. I'll probably enhance it a little bit and I'll share that if I do. But my next steps with this would be to create a system that doesn't re uh, rely on the cloud, basically software, where I can do this locally on a machine that doesn't have an internet connection if I prefer to do so. <laughs> yeah, it actually did it wrong. This is amazing. thought for sure it was right. All right, so really... Interesting that it just ignores that rule every once in a while. I'm going to go back and show that I actually successfully generated that. i got to figure out what that problem is. But if I go back and do one that I did a little while ago, we'll take a look. This is my preferred view. And this, this time it colorized the cards and the text, which is cool. So I could get into those details and, and, and force that to happen. I'm going to have to get into the code and understand. I think I'm going to have to be very specific about that. Anyways, let's have a look at the report. The financial dashboard for John Doe, right? No personal details here, but we've got the starting balance, uh, total income, total expenses, net savings, remaining balance. What I like about this is the income's green. It means it's good, right? This is income and money. Total expenses, red. The other colors are just don't have like a positive or negative meaning. It's just they're unique to category type. I, I really like that quick look and seeing that the starting balance was 3,500 and the remaining balance was 41. And this is good. So daily expense trend. This is spending on each day. I think it's an interesting view. You could go in and say you had a sudden trend at the end of the month and you're looking at it. For example, I did. I had a van that broke down and I had to get repairs and so mine would spike way up here. Categorized spending, food, dining, so 82.75. You get the picture, right? So it's pretty cool. So at a glance, if I said, you know, I'd like to maybe save 
a thousand dollars a month? Is there a category I can go after that could help me achieve that? You know, and so maybe the miscellaneous purchases would fall under that category. I could maybe go out to eat less. In this case, it doesn't look like uh, Mr. Doe has went out much. Anyway, a transaction history is providing an understanding of each transaction that happened for the entire month. I have green for incoming money and red for outgoing. Now, this is colorized wrong now. It shouldn't necessarily be green because it's not incoming, but basically it's conditionally formatted to show spend versus uh, positive values. So I really dig this report. If you look at bank statements. They don't have the charts and it can be a little confusing. So this simplifies it, I think. Anyways, I'm just having fun with this. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers and your support means a lot. If you have any suggestions for future how-to videos, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.